L2 writing research has seen debates about individual differences, which sees class as a as as a bunch of different uh, different diverse mentalities, diverse aptitude, diverse uh, element of motivation, anxiety. So ESL writers are actually unique, unique in terms of their diverse needs, wants, lacks, and strengths and weaknesses. So we as language teachers need to understand this phenomena that writers are unique. They have their different wants, their different lacks, wants, strengths, and weaknesses. So we need to understand that L2 writing is, is strategically, rhetorically, and linguistically different from that of first language. And this may become even more difficult when students write advanced writing at university levels, when they are involved in academic writing texts. So these conventions, traditions and rules of second language are not easily possible to the students. And there is a lot of research going on and we have seen uh, Dornier's perspective on individual differences. ID stands for individual differences. That these variables actually, aptitude, attitude, anxiety, motivation, positive psychology, feelings of happiness, they actually these variables in one way or the other facilitate or impede the learning of writing or developing proficiency or developing um, syntactic and lexical um, uh, knowledge of the students so we need to understand this unique phenomenon and accommodate offer opportunities for students and allow them so we should not treat students errors as individual inadequacies rather on the grounds of individual differences so individual differences helps us see class as heterogeneity heterogeneous community which has diverse needs which has diverse socio political facets so there are a number of uh, factors which help us see this phenomena in much more clear way. So this individual differences debates help us see like uh, reject the notion of deficit model, which like, for example, if students are not able to um, enhance their proficiency in second language, they might be seen as deficit. So they, they are actually, Students are not seen in comparison to native speakers. And unfortunately, you might have observed yourself and you might agree, strongly agree with me that most of the tests which are designed to measure students' proficiency, improvement, development are written by the native speakers and used for the native speakers. So they are not expected to perform like native speaker on tasks and tests. So how we can expect them? So this is, this is what the argument is that English as second language learners have their own unique needs. And we as language teachers need to tailor our instructional uh, practices according to the needs of uh, students. So pedagogically, we need to focus on the macro and micro level textual concerns and need to train our students to adopt particular styles which suit the audience they are writing for and address the debates surrounding formal and uh, rhetorical forms and formal accuracy.